Hello everyone and welcome back to Neptune's Child Tarot. My name is Monique and this is my second tarot channel here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for your continued love and support here on the channel. If you are new, um, welcome. You may also want to check out my main tarot channel, Moon Moth Goddess, where I do also have a bunch of other pick card readings for you guys to check out. Always keep in mind that I will never reach out to you um, in the comments or on social media to ask you to contact me. I will never reach out to you first to offer any readings, any services. Um, I did receive an email this morning um, from a subscriber letting me know that there was somebody that was impersonating me in the comments, um, asking them to contact some type of WhatsApp number. So just remember, I will never reach out to you first. The only way that you can book readings or services with me is by using the email that is uh, in the description box for you guys. So today's pick a card reading, we are doing what areas of your life are improving. We're going to see how so, and then also getting any other messages or advice, guidance from spirit to close out each of your readings. If you do feel drawn to more than one of the um, piles today, that is perfectly okay. Go with whatever your intuition is telling you. Here we do have three crystals for you guys. We have aquamarine for pile one. Pile two is going to be a pyrite matrix. And then pile three is zebra calcite. We are going to be shuffling and putting the piles together. If you are wanting to watch that process, I will have a timestamp for that. Or it will, if you just kind of uh, follow along, it'll be immediately following um, us looking at the crystals together to help you with choosing. I will also have a timestamp for those of you that want to see what your pile looks like already shuffled out with the crystal on top of it, if that will help you with choosing um, the right pile for you today. So what areas of your life are improving? Pile one is going to be this aquamarine. So aquamarine for pile number one. Pile two is going to be this pyrite matrix, which kind of has a gold tint to it. So pyrite matrix for pile number two. And pile number three is going to be this zebra calcite. So zebra calcite for pile number two. So pause the video if you need a little bit more time to meditate on the crystals. Like I said, if you want to watch the shuffling process, you're more than welcome to do so. It'll be immediately following this. Um, and for those of you that want to see what your pile looks like with the crystal on top of it, the timestamp will be down below um, and I will see you guys at your reading. All right, so those of you that are going to watch the shuffling process, let's move these crystals up here so we have more space. So let's get started with these. And here I do have two um, decks mixed together for those of you that are wanting to know the uh, tarot or oracle decks that I'm using today. I will have them in the description box for you guys. Okay, so what areas of your life are improving? We're gonna choose two from this here for each of the piles. So what areas of your life are improving? And let's pull something for pile one. What areas of your life are improving? Pile one. Now for pile two. Oops. Let's take 
this one right here. Okay. So now on to this one. We're going to choose one of these. What areas of your life are improving? of your life are improving. And then we will pull the tarot on camera for each of the piles. So let's get these piles put together for those that will be looking at the timestamp for what their pile looks like with the crystal on it. Okay, so here are the piles for today. Pile number one, again, with the aquamarine. Pile number two with the pyrite matrix. And then pile number three with the zebra calcite. Pause the video if you need a little bit more time to just kind of sit and meditate with whichever pile is calling to you the most. What areas of your life are improving? And I will see you guys at your reading. Hello, pile number one. So those of you that resonated with the aquamarine, this is going to be your reading today. So we're finding out what areas of your life are improving. So we're going to look at your uh, oracle cards and then we will um, shuffle out some tarot for you. So we have the sacred vow with divine commitment. Let's see what I want to do. We have the father with Mountain Rose. And let's do this one. We have holding the seeds with fertility. And I will say when I was just kind of sitting here meditating on your energy um, pile one, um, I was seeing a lot of orange and yellow. Okay, so we'll see how that is mm, playing into your reading today. But that does have to do with the solar plexus and sacral chakra. And the sacral chakra is really where our creativity, um, passion, um, sensuality, sexuality, um, very much connected into the feminine energy. Okay, so 
I think I'm going to put these down here. Let's do this one. So we also have Yarrow. Okay. So let's see if we can get these to fit down here. We have number seven, Blood Angel. We have the deer with gentleness. We have magical power. And then we also have the goat. What an interesting combination here. So what areas of your life are improving? So we have number 30, number 10, number 14, and then we also have uh, number seven here. And I'm feeling drawn to the holding of the seeds card because that is really what I was seeing um, before I started your reading, like I said, a lot of reds, a lot, I'm sorry, a lot of orange and a lot of yellow. And so she's also has a pomegranate, it looks like in her hand, which is also a symbol of wealth, um, abundance, prosperity, holding the seeds. We have number 14, um, which is the temperance card. So Temperance is about the transmutation of energies. Um, it can be about healing and can talk about being patient as things are being alchemized or brought together. Energy is, is shifting, changing into another form of energy. And so I'm definitely feeling like there is a lot of creative energy. Okay, you also have magical power here. So for many of you, it can be, um, I'm seeing improvements within your connection to the divine, especially with you having divine commitment here, the sacred vow. For some of you, this is your connection to your higher self, um, your connection to your ancestors, your spirit team, passed on loved ones. I was also seeing um, a cemetery, which is really odd. I was seeing a cemetery and there were a lot of really beautiful, um, gravestones, ones that look like a lot, a lot older than ones that we would typically see in today's day and age. So this almost looks like there is a very strong connection to passed on loved ones and ancestors. So I'm definitely feeling um, improvements to your connection to the divine um, within your your own ascension, your spiritual growth. Um, some of you might even see improvements within your spiritual gifts. And of course, with the spiritual gifts, you're feeling strongly, more strongly connected into um your own divinity. I feel like that relationship between you and your higher self or even your connection with uh, your higher power, whatever that might be for you. So I'm definitely feeling a very powerful kind of like um, very strong psychic energy uh, from this pile. I'm feeling that many of you might experience improvements with your career abundance, uh, being able to create wealth. Okay. I'm also getting something with the deer and gentleness here with uh, your overall, I feel like emotional, spiritual, mental well-being improvements there. So I feel like a lot of this is more or less happening within yourself. You're going to feel more of a sense of groundedness, more of a sense of feeling at peace, calm, um, which in my opinion <laughs> is awesome because if you're, 
you know, someone who has been, you know, worrying about things or stressing out or just kind of feeling, you know, some, some lows um, in your emotional state or feeling kind of like on edge or whatever it is that you might be going through. I feel like this is kind of overall bringing in a sense of, of peace and calm um, that you're feeling within the self. Um, so yeah, and I feel like with the divine commitment here, some of you might, it may even relate to, uh, your love life. Okay. Because we also have gentleness here. I'm feeling with regard to how this could make improvements within your love life is especially with gentleness. Um, I feel like with the overall change that you might feel, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, because you feel more grounded, more at peace within yourself. I feel like this is energy that's kind of being reflected outwards and you're going to notice a change or a shift or improvement. I feel like within your love life or even in your connections with others, in your approach, your demeanor. Um, and if you are someone who's already in a relationship this can be strengthening that bond or that connection that you do have with this person. Um, for some of you, it may even mean connecting or meeting with someone new who is more in alignment um, with you there as well. So I'm getting a lot of physical psychic healing as well with your Yarrow here. Um like I said, I feel like overall a lot of this energy, and that might be symbolic too, is that I saw a cemetery. And then we have fertility here, which would be about birthing something new, creating something new. And odd that this is number 14, which like I said, is about temperance, which is about the transmutation or alchemizing energies. And balance is the natural law okay of the of the universe is balancing so with me seeing the cemetery like i said not only is that improvements with i feel like with your connection to uh the spirit realm psychic energy but i also see that as kind of like death right death in the metaphorical sense with death and then rebirth here so the death energy surrounding the cemetery that I was seeing, I feel like we can look at that in a way of energy that you are releasing or letting go. You are transmuting that energy into something new. So a lot of the energy that's coming through in your pile today as far as, you know, what areas of your life are improving. Like I said, I kind of feel from your this energy here that it's an overall sense of improvement for your physical for your psychic your spiritual like I said earlier your we have magical power which I feel like is a lot of strengthening growth expansion um more vitality more life force um with your little goat here this is more this card more or less is talking about independence and freedom and courage and kind of going against the grain, not kind of falling into the expectations of others or doing everything that everyone else is doing. This is kind of you having more courage and more strength to be able to do things that inspire you. So I'm also seeing this as you kind of making that or strengthening that commitment to the self. More or less you, I feel like with the father energy here, because this is talking about the masculine, where we have the feminine here, the masculine energy is more about taking decisive action. So I feel like there will be a lot of opportunities that are coming in for you, but it's ultimately up to you to take the initiative and take that first step with those opportunities that are available to you to also to create changes, okay? To create those changes, um, create 
and also take the action that is needed. Okay, so yeah, I'm getting this as a lot of a lot of release for you, a lot of letting go of what no longer serves. Um, the number seven here is also connected to the chariot. Okay, and the chariot is also about balance. It's about bringing two opposing forces of energy into alignment, into balance, so that we are able to move forward. Um, and so I'm seeing this for you. Like I said, a lot of growth, a lot of expansion, more life force. As you release the old, you are replacing or in a sense transmuting this energy into something powerful. So I feel that you are going to feel more energized. Like I have, you have more energy to create. Um, with me also seeing the color yellow, this goes into the solar plexus chakra, which is your, your power. Um, a lot of your confidence, a lot of your will to create, to have the energy. So like I said, many of you may have been feeling a little bit slow or sluggish or unmotivated or maybe even dealing with creative blocks or just kind of like not feeling like yourself. You know, even those of you that may have an, a knowing of, of spiritual gifts that you have, you may have kind of felt like they were not what they used to be or even feeling like they had in a, in a way dimmed a little. And so I feel like as you are going through this process, you're going to notice improvements. I, I feel in all areas of your life because it feels more or less that you are releasing those parts of self. And creating space in a sense within your own energetic field for more powerful energy, okay? And when we're feeling in that state, we feel alive, we feel powerful, we feel creative, we feel in alignment, we feel in balance. And when our own energy is in alignment, this really helps and it of course makes it easier for us to be in alignment with what our calling is, with what our desires are, wishes that we have to be able to align our values, our beliefs with what we seek, what we desire, improvements in our life, because we are now in alignment. So I really love this energy because I feel like with the gentleness here too, the de deers are also incredibly intuitive um, animals. Their antlers are kind of like their... I like to think of them as their receptors for um, like psychic energy in the way that I, I see them. Um, if, you know, the deers use their antlers as kind of being able to feel, right, sense as one of their, where they receive information from to sense danger and, you know, things of that nature um, when they're out in their... Uh, natural habitat to be able to guide them, you know, towards what is necessary, right, for them in terms of to survive, but it also warns them. And so I feel like this is you really connecting in with the energy of the feminine and also creating that balance with the masculine energy here. So yes, yeah, so let's pull the tarot and see what else is coming through here. But like I said, I kind of feel like these improvements that you're going to be feeling, like I said, your physical, your emotional, your mental, spiritual well-being. So when you feel better, right, it's almost like you feel re-energized, you feel alive, you feel full of, of this beautiful energy. You feel powerful. You feel in your power to be able to create, to be able to 
uh, expand. So I love this energy. It's giving me chills. Um, actually, <laughs> I can feel it, it all the way in my crown chakra down throughout my body. It's such a, such a beautiful energy. So let's see here. Pile number one, what areas of your life are improving? And some of you quite literally, um, a lot of this healing could even be surrounding mother and father wounds here as well. Um, also because we have a goat here, some of you could be, um, Capricorn. Okay. Could be significant to you. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. is the first card we're starting off with. So the Ace of Pentacles is an opportunity for a new beginning. So I'm definitely feeling this as opportunities to create more wealth, more abundance. Okay. Some of you, this could be a windfall of money coming in. It could be a new offer, a new job offer. It could be a loan. It could be, you know, something, a new job. Okay. New career, um, a new car. Okay. <laughs> something that you've um, have been working towards manifesting. It may even be like by per, being able to purchase a house, a home, or even, um, being able to have the financial means to, you know, move to a new place or something that you've been, um, wanting here. So let's see here. What else, what areas of your life are improving? So definitely money. What else for pile number one? we have the star. This is beautiful. So the star is definitely about healing, renewal, regeneration. Um, it's also about restoring trust, faith, belief, hope. Um, it's also about destiny. Okay. So many of you, you could feel that with the areas of your life that are going to be improving, it could be that spirit is helping as you're going through this healing and transmuting this energy, you're going to be in alignment with, this could even be opportunities to align with what you feel your soul's calling is, your soul's purpose, your mission, whatever you feel. Um, I, I'm also feeling, like I said earlier, more in connection with your higher self, with your spirit team trusting in the wisdom and the guidance that you that you receive okay heightened spiritual uh psychic energy here so it's kind of like you're when you're presented with these opportunities you're going to have a feeling and an inner knowing that this is right for you and i feel like it's because you are being divinely guided again that strength and that connection that bond to your higher self to spirit in general Some of you, the star energy is talking about wish fulfillment. So maybe something that you've been wishing for, um, working towards manifesting within your life. Let's see what else here. What areas? Some of you might also be receiving some type of recognition. Okay. Public recognition. The star can literally, it kind of, it's, it's very similar to the six of wands energy in which there may be like fame, some type of fame or fortune, meaning well-known, well-recognized. Maybe it's something that you do for work. Um, but definitely healing with the star, renewing. What areas of pile number one's life are improving? We've also got Aquarius energy here. We have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so like I said, some of you might see improvements here within your love life. We've got the Knight of Cups here. can be some type of new offer, um, romantic offer here coming in for you, especially if you're single and you're open, you know, to receiving love. The Knight of Cups can definitely be some type of romantic offer coming in. 
some of you, this can be with the divine commitment here. This can be your, your counterpart. Okay. It could be a soulmate, um, some type of divine union. Okay. Let's see. Now the Knight of Cups does, isn't just about romantic, you know, opportunities. Um, this can also be other opportunities that are coming towards you. Okay. Let's see. Pile number one. Such beautiful energy in this pile. What areas of pile number one's life are improving? We have the eight of swords. Okay. Like I was saying earlier, I was definitely getting this feeling of a, a, a lot of healing for you, a lot of mm, mental, because the eight of swords has to do with keeping ourselves stuck in a mental prison of negativity. Okay. So when we are in this state, we're not really functioning at our best. Um, we can be trapped by our own self-limiting beliefs. And this can be very draining. Okay, it can be incredibly draining mentally for us and start to affect us in other ways and start to kind of overlap and affect other areas of our life or many areas of our life when we're not in a, in a good mental place. If we're feeling stressed out, if we're kind of stuck in a cycle of constantly thinking very negative or, you know, like I said, self-limiting beliefs or even self-sabotaging thoughts, um, it can make us feel like we're, it, it even looks like the way that this card is presented. Look at how the swords almost look like they are imprisoning this bird. Okay. Like they're, they're, they have this sword, uh, in a, a little jail cell where this bird cannot fly. And so your little goat here is more or less about freedom. And so I'm feeling definitely this freedom from the mental state of being with this eight of swords let's see what else so definitely healing mentally emotionally for some of you this can be healing surrounding um the heart chakra healing energy surrounding your finances okay so a lot of beautiful clearing of energy here like i said when we are in a better state mentally emotionally physically spiritually it's going to create kind of like a ripple effect outwards in the reality that we experience. We experience air improvements in all areas of our life because we're in balance. We're in alignment. I'm hearing August and October of this year, 2024. Okay, if you're watching this reading when I'm posting, August and October are going to be significant for some of you. What areas of pile number one's life are improving? We also have the magician. So I'm just, I'm going to have to cover this one up a little bit, I think, because YouTube might get it confused with it being a female, but it is a male, but because there's, I don't know, but we do have the magician here. Okay. So I'll get a closer look. The magician. So this is very powerful energy. Okay. <laughs> Pile one. Like I said, I was feeling chills all the way up and down my body and up through my crown chakra tingling. Um, yes. The magician is a very powerful energy in that this is essentially us with our connection to the divine this is the power of, of creation, of manifestation. Um, I feel like this is you being much more confident and within your power. Okay. 
you are creating something from nothing. And this is the way in which the magician works. We are basically receiving information, downloads from source, spirit, God, universe. The magician contains the inception of our ideas, those little things that start off as tiny seeds. It could be a thought, an idea. And us kind of having that power to create it and manifest it into the physical. Okay? So it's a beautiful energy. And then at the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups is about complete emotional fulfillment, happiness. Some of you might see improvements with your family, with your friends, with your relationships. Um, but it's more or less about you feeling in this overall state of feeling happy, feeling content. Um, the cups does have to do with our feelings and our emotions and also our creative energy. So you could be beginning, starting pursuing um, opportunities that make you feel more happy, that make you feel more fulfilled. Like I said, many of you with the star energy being here, because this does have to do with destiny, you could, like I said, as you were working towards changing this energy, releasing this eight of swords, there's a sense of freedom, right? In, in the mental state, in the emotional state, and when we can really focus, right, in that father energy there with the masculine to take the actions and feel confident in them, feel confident in ourself, courageous to be able to take that bold step forward towards those opportunities that are there because within us, it's something that makes us feel happy. It makes us feel that. And this kind of reminds me of a reading, I think, was it the last reading that I did for this channel? Or one of the piles, I think it was the last reading I did, or one of the readings was talking about resonance. About resonance and about a need for us to really take a look at uh, our life and everything that is within it, our relationships, our job. And whether or not we feel a resonance with those things, how do we feel? Do we feel positive? Do we feel happy? Do we feel joy with those things within our life? Do they resonate with us? Or are we more or less feeling unhappy, discontent, sad? with some of those things that are there. So I feel like it's important in that this shift happening for you is leading you into a place where you can also positively with that Knight of Cups energy there, positively allow your heart and your intuition to be your guide to lead you towards emotional fulfillment. Because when we're at a job or we're in a relationship, we have a friendship, we want those things to add value to our life. We want those things to be ones that do make us feel happy, that do make us feel warm and fuzzy inside, right? <laughs> and sometimes we are in certain connections or in, you know, at certain jobs that we don't feel happy with. And so I feel like this is definitely healing this mental state for you, this emotional state, or this maybe even physical for you. Some of you, sometimes we can have certain things that we've been bottling up inside, certain emotions or thoughts and stuff like that. They can really start to affect us physically where we start to feel fatigued. We start to feel very lethargic. It starts to affect our muscles. Um, it starts to affect you know, many things in their body and show up as certain illnesses 
or uh, just us just, you know, not having the energy to do things really dragging us down. So I'm feeling it's almost as this energy is kind of bringing in a purification and a clearing. Okay, purifying your energy, balancing your energy. Um, so I'm, I'm really feeling that your pile, you are going to see a change and a shift in many areas of your life. And I feel like first and foremost is starting within your own energy. And you are going to see that with the shift that occurs in your energy, you're going to start to see it manifest outward in your reality. There's going to be improvements with your love life, improvements with your abundance as you create that shift of energy within yourself. And it's going to reflect outwards, which is beautiful because then is when you know your energy is truly in alignment, truly in balance because the reality that you experience is that much better, that much more fulfilling for you. Okay. All right. So I'm going to leave this here for you. Um, there's also Gemini, Virgo, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy here as well. I'm going to leave this here for you. Pile number one. I do hope this is helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, pile two. So those of you that resonated with this pyrite matrix, this is going to be a reading today. So I will say when I was just kind of sitting here meditating on your um, pile today. Uh, I was seeing a lot of the color pink and green, and both of those colors are in connection to the heart chakra. Okay. Um, I do notice, and I don't know if you guys notice this too, if you guys watch, um, a lot of the readings I do here and also on the other channel, I notice a lot of pile two always being those of you that have gone through a lot of heartbreak um, when it comes to love and there's always a lot of messages here about love <laughs> in pile two um, even when I do them on this um, channel Neptune's Child which is more or less you know focused on readings for the self um, a lot of I, I feel like my my people my subscribers here um, that end up choosing pile two are those of you that have gone through a lot of painful um, things, painful breakups, um, and, and really kind of, I feel like struggling with being able to move forward, move on from the past. Um, and so I do notice that it comes through a lot with, with pile two. So let's look at your, um, messages today. We're finding out what areas, um, of your life are improving, how so, um, and then of course, any other messages that come through as guidance. Um, we'll do that as well. Okay. All right. So let's start with these ones. So we have queen of the sun. It says nothing is lost that cannot be found. I'm going to save this one, these ones for the bottom. We have the witch's heart. We have number 18, the warrior. We have number 13, Hecate, with magic and crossroads. We have the snail. We have intuition. We have threshold with intention. And I might have to cover up this one, maybe. Yes, a little bit. Okay. So we've got the lover and the beloved. Number 35. Okay, the lover and the beloved. And it's basically two people who are embracing one another, but YouTube has certain rules, so. Um, 
Okay. I'm kind of noticing your colors here. <laughs> There's a lot of these browns and golds and beautiful colors together. Okay. So what areas of your life are improving? You started off with card number 39, Queen of the Sun. It says nothing is lost that cannot be found. And then you have the lover and the beloved here. The warrior. This already makes me feel like, again, your pile here is the witch's heart. Um, may have to do with, with your love life, okay? The snail, you know, is it has this very protective shell um, protect, to protect it from, you know, being so vulnerable out in, you know, gardens and the woods and things like that where it lives um, to protect it, right, from other animals or and other little creatures or things like that that want to eat the snail. Um, so I'm feeling here already, you have the warrior here. I'm noticing the little shell on the snail as a protective energy. Um, So I'm already feeling like this may have to do with improvements within your love life because we do have nothing is lost that cannot be found. So it makes me feel that some of you, again, that have chosen this pile may have lost, you know, a, a person, somebody that was really important to you. It could have been um, past relationships, things of that nature. Um but with the lover and the beloved, I feel like this definitely has to do with improvements in your love life. Okay. Um, and also with you having intuition here, this can certainly be that, you know, you are someone who, because of what you've gone through, it has only, I feel, made you stronger, made you wiser, um, you know, being protective of the self, but also with the lover and the beloved, you know, this card also talks about you connecting with somebody who you are fully allowing yourself in the way that they're embracing here. And so although there is this protection here, I feel like your intuition is also heightening as protection for you because of what you've gone through, what you've overcome. I feel many of you that chose this pile with the witch's heart here are very heart centered. Like I said, I was seeing pink and green were, were both connected to the heart chakra here. So you also have little bits of, of yellow here too. So this could even be something that is helping you to improve your confidence with being able to put yourself back out there again to allow yourself to be vulnerable. However, there's still this very protective energy here. Um, I'm actually going to use a different tarot deck, I think, for you because of the colors that you have here. Lots of golds and... We have threshold with intention. And so this, to me, is kind of about you taking maybe even some type of leap of faith, because you also have the magic and the crossroads here. Some of you might quite literally feel that you are at a crossroads in your life at this time. Um, and needing to take maybe some type of leap of faith into a new direction and, and uh, you know, with the strength, uh, a stronger intuition, I feel like you can really learn to trust your own heart with where your heart might be leading you, guiding you. I feel like you are moving forward in your life also with more intention, more purpose. And that may even include the people that you connect with, the romantic partners that you allow into your life or near you to make sure that they are people who are truly in alignment with you. Okay, nothing is lost that cannot be found. So those of you that may have you know, had bad breakups or things of that nature, 
you know, and it doesn't even need to be just having to do with love, although we do have the lover and the beloved here, because of course we can lose many different things as we move along our path in life, but it doesn't mean that we cannot experience that. So I feel like there's also a message here about you not losing hope, that you will not be able to, you know, create the dreams, the desires, or the meet the goals that you do have throughout life. Um, so let's see with your tarot here. What areas of your life are improving? Pile number two. What areas of your life? What areas of your life are improving? Pile number two. We have the page of cups. Page of Cups. What areas of your life are improving? We have the King of Cups. We have Judgment. So we already have Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energy here. What areas of your life? The Ace of Wands. also have the Queen of Swords. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups. Yes. And then we have the King of Cups here. Okay. <laughs> so we have the Lover and the Beloved, both King and Queen of Cups. So definitely pile number two seeing improvements in your love life. Okay. Now, those of you that are single and, and, you know, welcoming in, open, opening up your heart, um, to new love. Okay. I definitely see that coming in for you. However, like I said, I feel like those of you that have chosen this file have definitely, been very hurt in the love department okay and i feel like with the page energy being here there is definitely an improvements i feel like in your emotional maturity um emotional balance your emotional intelligence being able to discern because you also have the queen of swords here um using wise discernment moving forward. I am feeling for many of you, this could be a soulmate coming in for you. And I feel the connection that you will have with this person will be a very strong, mutual bond and connection. This connection is going to feel different in that you're not going to have to guess whether or not this person likes you or loves you or chooses you, you're going to have an inner knowing that this is the right person for you. And it's going to be something that's mutual. You're not going to have to force it. You're not going to question it. You know, how does this person feel towards me? You know, what are the, you're going to know, you're going to feel it because there's, there's such a strong, I feel like energy between you and this person coming in. And I feel like with the lover and the beloved energy here, this does require you to really open up your heart. You know, it does allow, uh, require a certain amount of vulnerability. So yes, we've got your little snail here with the protective shell on it. But at the same time, there is a strengthening within your own intuition. And I love that we have judgment here 
because judgment is about us looking back to our past and thinking about what we've journeyed through, what we've overcome, what we've learned, so that we can then integrate that moving forward. We're moving forward with more discernment, with clarity. Um, this is also where we release, where we let go. So I'm seeing the improvements in your life that are affecting you on a level of your heart chakra. Okay. Um, I also feel for many of you, there could be this beautiful balance or marrying of energies, even within yourself, because we do also have the feminine and the masculine here, the lover and the beloved. So this may even be a beautiful energy shift that you notice within yourself. Um, Some of you might even be, this could even be affecting your ability to move forward with, with intention and with clear information coming from your intuition because your own energy is in balance. Um, the Ace of Wands energy is about a spark. And for many of you, the spark can be between you and another person. Um, for others of you, this Ace of Wands may be about a new idea a creative idea, a creative inspiration that you might receive, a download that you might receive. If you look at him, he looks like he's sitting here and there's this whirlwind of energy that's kind of circulating and surrounding. Um, so many of you, this might even be that you feel inspired to take some kind of action here. Being that we have the threshold, it's kind of like you being right there, ready to take some kind of leap of faith. And the Page of Cups is also a beautiful energy of um, having a vision, having a dream, being very connected into your inner child. Some of you, this can be even, I'm feeling a lot of healing energy for you here as well. A lot of release, a lot of letting go. Some of you with the judgment card here could also be making a major life decision. Okay, and then having the clarity to be able to do that. I'm also seeing a balance here between the head and the heart. And sometimes we can, you know, our judgment might be a little bit clouded or we might be making decisions like emotionally. And sometimes we're not seeing things clearly. I'm feeling there's this beautiful balance of your emotions here. And because of that, feeling more of groundedness, more calm, more balanced emotions, you're able to also add in logic and be able to kind of make major decisions, life choices. Um, some of you with a judgment card, this could be answering the call of your soul, your soul's calling. Okay, stepping onto that path, something that is truly in alignment with you. Like I said, those of you that are single, this is going to be improvements within your love life. Many of you, this can even have to do with business mindset, business decisions, career decisions. Um, I'm also kind of feeling with your little snail here, there's extra protective energy, I feel like from your spirit team at this time. What else do I want to look at here? Some of you, this can have to do with business. Okay, we have the three of pentacles here at the bottom. This can have to do with business entrepreneurship. Some of you might even be taking that next step on your career path. Um, Improvements to your finances, even your creativity, okay? Your creative energy, feeling creatively inspired. Let's see a little bit more about what this threshold and intention is for you, Pile 2. Oops. Okay. We've got the King of Wands, 
King of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. Yes, so some of you, this has to do with, I feel like a new opportunity, a creative project. So this is this is affecting your, your finances, your career. Many of you, I feel like you're going to be taking some type of, uh, the King of Wands might even be leadership. Some of you might be moving um, further along in your career. Some of you could be moving literally into a leadership type of position or next level management, whatever executive level, whatever that means for you. Some of you might be opening a new door in terms of opening your own business. Okay. Opening your own business. Um, many of you, I feel like you're feeling strong and courageous enough to be able to take the initiative. Um, the King of Wands is about paving your own path. Okay. Paving your own path here. So many of you may be doing some serious reflection upon ideas that you have. Like I said, I feel like you're kind of moving forward in your life with more purpose. Definitely with more purpose here. Some of you, I'm, I'm feeling you're going to receive improvements with your spiritual gifts, okay? Sharpening intuition. Becoming, I feel like, a clearer channel for receiving information and downloads from spirit. Let's get a little bit about this crossroads up here. What is the energy surrounding the crossroads for pile number two? We have the Eight of Swords. Okay. So the Eight of Swords energy can sometimes talk about us being stuck in a mental prison of negativity, self-limiting beliefs, feeling trapped or stuck. We have the Nine of Cups. This is about fulfillment or wish fulfillment for some of you. It could be that there are certain desires that you do have and your own mindset could be something that has been limiting you. So I feel like this is kind of clearing this energy for you to help you. Yeah, we've got the fool here, which is taking a leap of faith, a new beginning. Okay, which is what I'm seeing for you here. Here in this page of pentacles card, you can see how she's standing here with this tiger about to open this huge door. Huge door here. And even that is something that's mirrored here in this judgment card, okay? This portal, this doorway, however you wish um, to look at that. But it's it's a beautiful uh, energy here for you, okay? And I'm seeing the Three of Cups energy here um, at the bottom as well. So some of you might even see improvements with your connections with others. This could be making new friends, okay, for some of you. New circle of friends, new friend groups. The Three of Cups is a card of joy, celebration. So some of you, quite literally, this could be a promotion or something that you are celebrating here. Um, some of you may, especially if you're already in a relationship with someone, I'm definitely seeing this as you improvements in your life, life with strengthening the bond and the connection. Um... Some of you, okay, and this may not, because this is a general reading, but I do have to say it because it's here. Some of you might even be receiving a proposal from someone, okay? Especially if you already feel like it's kind of leading that way, going in that way. You might be receiving a, a, a proposal, engagement for marriage from someone, okay? Especially if you already know your, your relationship is kind of going in that direction. Um... Yeah, some of you I'm seeing a job offer here, a job offer here, a proposal, a job offer. Um, we do also have, what do we have here? We've got also Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, so let's see if there's any other messages that Spirit has for you here. Any other messages for pile number two about what areas of their life are improving? Three of Pentacles. So yes, definitely business connections with others. Um, those of you that are entrepreneurs, you're going to see improvements um, here as well. 
Um, this is very, what do you call that? Might only be for one person who's watching this reading, but I'm seeing being able to hire staff or, or some of you might be expanding your business to the point where you're, ne you're now needing staff. You're needing staff to help or assist you with business processes. Okay. So you can be, um, this could even be a collaboration or working with others, business partners, or even um, expansion, business expansion for some of you, okay? Or even needing to kind of hire others, people that are going to help you to even grow or improve um, next level in your business, okay? All right, so I'm going to leave this here for you, pile number two. I do hope this was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next reading. Hi, Pell 3. So those of you that resonated with the Zebra Calcite, this is going to be your reading today. So we're finding out what areas of your life are improving, um, how so, what is it, um, and then any additional messages, guidance, advice that comes through for you, I will definitely let you know. Okay, so let's take a look uh, at your cards. We have card number 23, the Star Mother, Arrakis. Okay, let me put this one down here. Let's actually start with these ones. Okay, so we have number two, the Unknown Journey, Embrace the Unfamiliar. We have number 24, The Lover. We have number five, Blue Terra, Transmutation of Anger. We have the knife, and I'm probably going to have to cover this a little bit because of YouTube. Um, so we have the knife. Okay. We have Bodhisattva with Awakening. We have confidence. And we also have time. Interesting. You have a lot of blue here. And <laughs> I was seeing a lot of blue before I started your reading. I was seeing a lot of blue. Um, which could very well be connected to your throat chakra. But we'll kind of see... Um, what is happening here? I noticed first off your blue tarot card here. She's also got her third eye open right there. And you do have awakening here. So some of you quite literally, you could be going through your awakening process. Um, and when, of course, when we're going through awaken, we can experience many different things. Um, and so I feel for many of you that may have chose this pile, there could be some anger, which is also energy, okay? Everything that we're feeling, thinking, it's all energy. So those of you that might have pent up, I would say, resentment or anger towards people, situations, things that have happened in your past, things you could currently be going through right now, frustration even for some of you. Um, there is a beautiful transmutation of this energy, okay? Um, and I feel like as you are transmuting this, you are transmuting this into something powerful for um, yourself, okay? It could be that you are really reviewing a lot of your values, your beliefs, your morals, um, certain belief systems that you have right now. And really shifting them to align with desires that you have. 
okay, that'll better serve you um, is definitely something there. So I do want to pull your tarot. There's a lot of blue here. I want to pull your tarot and see. where this is going to affect you. What areas of your life are improving? What areas of pile number three's life? And you may even with the, with all the, the color blue that I was seeing before I started your reading, you know, like I said, this has to do with the throat chakra. And so it may even be that many of you are learning how to express yourself better to use and find power in your voice you could be learning how to be more assertive or to speak your truth okay this could come through in writing in painting or you know speaking with others If you are someone who does have issues with your temper or your anger, um, we can you can certainly be learning healthier ways of being able to express that anger without, you know, being defensive or attacking others, you know, with certain things. Like if somebody makes you mad and you automatically, <laughs> automatically just kind of go to defense mode, you know. So let's see, pile number three, what areas of your life are improving? You have, you have the unknown journey here with embrace the unfamiliar. So this may even be that some of you are kind of starting or beginning something new. I do feel with the star mother Arrakis here that you are being divinely protected and guided through this. Um, I'm feeling also with time here, maybe time, divine timing is going to be something that's very important for you as things kind of come together for you. I'm feeling some of you might be going through something that you could, of course, be waiting on or being challenged by at this time. And I feel like spirit is kind of asking you for your patience at this time as things are being woven. Pile number three, <clears throat> what areas of your life are improving? Some of you might also be cutting out, okay, certain people out of your life um, that are unhealthy or toxic, okay? As you, as, especially for those of you that are going through your awakening, you might start to notice that there are certain people who you just no longer resonate with their energy, okay? And it could be something where you are becoming more protective of your energy and who you allow into your circle, okay? Some of you might also be feeling a need to kind of isolate a little bit right now, okay? As you are going through these uh, shifts and transformation, I feel like, within yourself. Okay. So we do have the five of pentacles. The five of pentacles can be a very challenging energy. This can talk about financial hardship, isolation, okay, which I just spoke of, isolation. Um, it can also be dealing with some type of financial loss, debt, um, not having the means to provide for family, for children. It could be that money's tight. Some of you might even be dealing with some type of job loss or even, you know, feeling very overwhelmed at this time. Um, the five of pentacles, we can, when we're in that energy, we are feeling like there is a lack of resources. Okay. You could be in a place where you're needing assistance, um, I would encourage you to use your resources, okay? Um, especially if you feel like you don't have um, people who are able to help you check into resources, okay? Community resources that might be there. I am seeing the Three of Pentacles here, which does have to do with community. Um, some of you, let's, let's pull the rest of the cards here. But this could definitely be improvements with your finances. Okay. 
What else? What areas of your life are improving? Pile number three. We have the Page of Cups. Wow, Wheel of Fortune, beautiful. Okay. What area of your life is improving? We've also got the Nine of Cups here. So beautiful. This looks like things are changing for you, pile number three. Those of you that have been kind of stuck in this feeling of despair or hopelessness over maybe uh, present circumstances here, I feel like there are going to be a shift or change here. The Wheel of Fortune is here. So the Wheel of Fortune, you know, this is about us going through cycles. And sometimes in life we go through some cycles that are very challenging for us. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune is kind of like that reminder that things are constantly changing. And you do have time here. So I feel like, like I was saying earlier, you can expect improvements, I feel, for some of you with your finances. Some of you, this might be um, a part of your community or even work, career, improvements in that field. Um, we do have the Nine of Cups here, which is about wish fulfillment. It's a, it's a card of satisfaction, um, abundance, okay? Maybe some type of wish fulfillment coming in. The Wheel of Fortune also brings in a change of luck and the positive, positive churn of events for you in terms of your life. Now, some of you might even see improvements affecting your love life. I'm seeing love life here and also financials, okay? So for some of you, this may even be a job offer or opportunity that comes in. Um, it could be some type of gift, okay? Somebody could be gifting you uh, something here. What else am I seeing? The Wheel of Fortune is talking about good luck, okay? Prosperity. Some of you might even be receiving some type of windfall um, of money here. Okay, this could be a job offer. It could even be um, one that requires you to... I'm, I'm seeing for some of you this could be a, an, a new position that's being offered within the same company. And for some of you, this may mean that you are getting your dream job. You're getting... Um, something that is more in alignment with you. Okay. The wheel of fortune can also be when we are at a major turning point in our life. Okay. I am having a feeling because we do have awakening here and the star mother Arrakis. There's a lot of changes I feel like that are taking place in your life at this time. And you might start to notice that things that feel like they're falling apart, um, you might kind of not know, okay, what's next for me? Where am I going? Where am I journeying to? But you also have this card here that was talking about embracing the unfamiliar and the, the unknown journey, okay? I am feeling there's a need for you to be confident right now that no matter what it is that you're going through, that things are going to improve for you, okay? Divine timing is at play. This beautiful energy here of the Star Mother Arrakis is a very protective energy. It's also one that is leading and guiding you. And of course, for some of you with the anger here, you could be feeling angry at what the present circumstances are, feeling frustrated, feeling like certain things are kind of outside your control um, with how they are kind of evolving or what they're shaping into. But I have this feeling here with your your cards here that spirit is saying that there are there is going to be improvements that you are going to see. There's just a need for you to trust um, in divine timing here. Many of you could be feeling very confused, um, even overwhelmed about present circumstances. I'm seeing the seven of cups energy here, the ten of swords and also the ace of pentacles and the star. 
so, and justice here is at the bottom. I'm going to have to cover her a little bit. Um, justice is here. Okay. So things are being balanced here. Okay. Um, those of you that are kind of going through court or legal type of battles, situations, the justice card being here, the ace of pentacles and the wheel of fortune, I'm seeing that many of you are going to see improvements with whatever legal situations that you have going on right now. Things are going to be working out in your favor. There's going to be abundance that's coming in. Many of you, like I said, you could be receiving a windfall of money. Um... It's kind of what I'm getting here. But justice is about the universal laws of balance. It has to do with good karma. Okay. Many of you that are feeling kind of pretty low or just feeling a little bit lost right now. Things are going to come together. Okay. They're going to fall into place the way in which they're meant to. Many of you do have some serious wish fulfillment coming in here. So if you've been, you know, hoping and waiting for something to come through for you, it's coming in. Okay. Okay. Um, many of you, like I said, this could be new love interest coming in here. Um, I'm definitely feeling that there's a shift here that's kind of aligning you with what your where your what your destiny is. And though it this new path might seem a little bit unfamiliar, okay, unfamiliar territory for you, or something new that you're beginning here, there's a need for you to kind of trust the process because spirit is kind of helping to align you. Um, interesting. I'm seeing a blue jay. <laughs> outside the window right now um so lots of blue i don't know i was seeing blue as your color um and then you do you have a lot of blue that's kind of coming through in your cards today too um and then we've got a blue jay outside so maybe for some of you blue jays are also significant or you could be seeing them um a lot of them okay um some of you like i said you could be receiving a new job offer here um, some of you that kind of feel that you're lacking in terms of like the love department, I am seeing something new that's more in alignment coming in for you. That is wish fulfillment. Some of you could be working towards healing connections from past. Okay. And again, I feel like with this energy here, if there is something that's not working out, especially as it relates to your love life, if there's something that's not working out, trust that it's happening for a reason. Okay, some of you with that energy of the knife may be required to kind of let go of a situation um, that is not serving you, that is not in alignment with you. Um, and there's a need for you to kind of trust that process that that spirit is kind of bringing in that someone who is more in alignment with you. Okay, I'm definitely seeing that coming in for you. And we do, of course, have wealth, prosperity that's improving here. Um some of you could be getting like the loan that you needed or getting the raise that you've asked for. Um, an opportunity for leveling up in terms of your career. Those of you that have been looking for work, I am seeing an offer coming in for you um, here as well. Okay. Some of you, I feel like, especially if you're watching this, the, the day that I'm posting this, which, which I don't even know what to... Ooh. Today's my sister's birthday. Oh my goodness. I got to call her. Uh, <laughs> oops. Um, I'm sitting here doing picker cards and I, I forgot today's her birthday. Um, so some of you, I'm feeling that this could be something that happens with the change in seasons. Right now we are, you know, almost at the close, pretty close to the end of spring. And we're going to be moving into the summer months. For some of you, that's going to be complete opposite depending on where you're at in the world. But I'm seeing some of you are going to be hearing news probably within the next three weeks. So whenever you click on this reading, if this message is resonating for you, okay, know that the timelines could be appropriate for whatever season it is for you at that time, okay? But I'm seeing something happening for some of you within the next two to three weeks, an offer coming in here for you, or even clarity surrounding a situation here, okay? Let's see if there's any other messages that spirit has for you. Pile number three. But yes, I'm definitely seeing your luck is changing. Okay, with the Wheel of Fortune. What else for pile number three, spirit? Some of you are definitely getting the recognition that you deserve um, when it comes to work, career. We have the Ten of Cups. Beautiful. 
Some of you, this could be improvements with family, okay, or even relationships. Um, some of you, this might have to do with family, with children. This can be a, an, a, an, a, um, an improvement in overall uh, general well-being, emotional happiness, joy. I'm seeing also families coming together, okay being more loving, being more supportive of one another. We also have the Fool here. So some of you, this might be taking some kind of leap of faith towards a new beginning, like Spirit is saying here. Some of you might have a journey into the unknown. There's a need for you to trust that, okay? We also have the Ten of Wands here. So some of you might really be dealing with a lot of stress or feeling a lot of responsibilities right now, feeling kind of weighed down energetically. Um, but we do have also have the page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So some of you, we've definitely got improvements, offers here um, that are coming in for you that are going to be helping to create a more um, balanced energy, especially for those of you where there is a little bit of a financial struggle. Those of you that might be taking some type of leap of faith into something new for work, I'm feeling that spirit is saying some of you need to shift outside of your comfort zone, okay? This shift is going to help you to align with this energy of the king. And we've also got the queen of pentacles right underneath that. Okay. So some of you might be seeing some serious improvements. Um, this may be even a job that kind of takes you to really feeling very financially secure, very financially stable. Some of you, when this comes to your love life, you might even have a solid offer for commitment coming in. Meaning that you are releasing and letting go of people who are not able to provide that sense of stability and security and you have somebody new coming in. We do have Libra, Aquarius energy here. Also, Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, those of you that have been really are single and are open to, you know, a commitment relationship, I am seeing that coming in for you here. So you are going to notice some changes and improvements when it comes to love, relationships, commitments. I am seeing that this is a long-term relationship. Some of you, this might even be finally meeting and connecting with your life partner, okay? Um, marriage is something that could happen here, especially for those of you that are really looking for that or wanting to find someone who is, is, is truly wanting that. I'm also feeling with the Four of Pentacles energy here for some of you, this energy can sometimes create resistance for us. The Four of Pentacles is when we are trying to control something okay the four of pentacles is about possession and control so there's the need for you to release and trust in divine timing and have confidence so like i said if there are certain relationship situations that you're trying to force and they're no matter what you're doing they're just not working trust again it's happening for a reason it's because the universe is kind of trying to create these shifts for you to align with the person that you're meant to be with okay so that is all that I have for you, pile number three. I do hope this reading was helpful for you guys, and I will see you in the next one.